Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play for Dyson Spear program. This is the Rise of the Dark Fog update, which introduces combat into this game. Now, the last time I played this was back before blueprints were ever introduced, so this is going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to this. Now, let's just get right into it. Generate a random seed, and then let's just go ahead. Let me. Probably should double check these options once again. But yeah, it looks good. So let's start this. The unknown. Created in exploration. The seed. Evolves in iteration. From zero. Transforming into infinity. And beyond. It spreads and becomes the shadow of the galaxy. The stars dim. You will embark on a new journey. All right, here we go. Welcome to the real universe. Very soon. You'll find this place different from our homeland. But you should be able to adapt to the laws of physics here in your time. I'm your advisor. I will assist you in completing this mission. I think that's a different advisor this time. But we're going to be setting up on that planet right there. Right beside that gas giant. Everything here belongs to you. As a member of the Cosmo, Pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster from ground zero. Make use of the resources available here to build a Dyson Sphere that supplies energy to the center brain to maintain homeland simulation. I've chosen a planet for the mission, and there are essential resources for the initial development. Now, please pilot the space capsule toward this planet. Wait, what's that spire looking thing? Is that like the dark fog or something? Let's just go Unknown crash EM into it. Detected. What? Extracting feature variables. Comparing with database. Those are highly likely anomalous mechanical bodies from the mechanic energy program. Engineers call them dark fog. Dark fog is extremely sensitive to EM signals under pattern so they may launch an assault on us to stay low profile we will land on the other side of this planet all right so we're gonna avoid it for now we'll just gather resources on this side of the planet and then we'll take them on eventually i guess but this is icarus a very powerful but lightweight industrial yes 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 i know Let's just extract resources for now. Oh, this panel is different. Ah, uh, I have to figure out how to play this game again. Kinda. But we're gonna do that. Now, please try to disassemble the space capsule. All oh, right, I should right do that. Button to proceed. Okay, so we're gonna make ten of these. To collect resources like wood or gravel. Click the right mouse button as well. In addition, you can hold... Yeah. Can I turn off this tutorial? It's just going to give me, like, really basic stuff. Uh, Milky Way active. I don't know how to do any of this. Oh, we should look harder. Tutorial tips. 
sure, let's do that. And let me double check the audio. So it should be the same volume as before in the previous playthrough. Now let me just make 10 of these so we can get our research going. And in the meantime, put these in. So at least for the first hour or two into this game, it should be exactly the same as in the pre previous playthrough. So I should know how to do everything, hopefully. And maybe I should go over to our copper over here. Now, I do like that I have a little bit of uh, iron, copper, stone, and coal all in this same general area. We're just gonna put this down here. I did play like a little bit off camera after the previous playthrough. I did work with the blueprint, so I know how to use that. Just want to continue getting this up as quickly as I can. So what I want to do first, uh, not logistics, I want to get the smelters up and then assembling. And then logistics. Get this all up. Still waiting on that. Uh, in the meantime... Okay, I'm just gonna start working on fuel now. I just want to get everything up and running as quickly as possible. Because I do want to see this dark fog. I want to see how combat is. Wait, what the hell? So, I can't check... I can't rotate the... thing here. So I can't see what's on the other side of the planet. I'll just go with this, for the time being. We're gonna need these things. Then, we're going to need more wind turbines. So we're going to do like a makeshift automated area somewhere here. First, we're going to get the smelters going. Uh, how are we going to do this? Okay, maybe we'll put it, like, right here. Somewhere close by, but far enough away that we have space to build. So, what I want is uh, this, this, and this. Put this right here. That way we get our refined stuff automated just a little bit. Also gonna need another mining thing. We're gonna need more uh, iron and copper, so just gonna focus on that first. Well, I'll put down one miner over here. Try to get as many of them as possible. Ah, whatever, good enough. 
Okay, we don't don't need the miners anymore. Uh, do you like this? So we are gonna need more this stuff here. Okay, I'm gonna need more coal at this point. So let's start manufacturing the gears and the microchips or circuits, whatever they're called. What are you called? Circuit boards. Okay, let's just mine this for now and then we'll queue up more mining machines. So it is really slow at this start, but that's mainly because you're doing everything manually. So we're gonna, finally going to have a purpose for the durability here. In the previous playthrough, it was like there was nothing that could hurt you. Even if you crash onto a planet, you take like no damage at all. Okay, we got assembling machines. this stuff going and I'll just put another machine over here and then we'll put our assembling machines maybe like where should we put them like we need them close by Uh, put you here first and then you can manufacture I guess circuit boards oh we're gonna need more power keep making these things Like, all I'm really doing is making this little makeshift area where I don't have to move that much. Oh, also need to continue collecting this stuff. And then we'll make more of these. Like, I do need one for gears as well. I suppose we'll manually make the next 10. Okay, this will be for... gears. Then the next one over here will be the magnetic coils, these things. I probably should start getting more of the smelters. Oh, except we need stone. Alright, now we do have logistics available. Actually, I can mine these rocks. Just get a little bit of that stuff. I could also get some silicone as well. We're gonna need that. Yeah, let's just mine these rocks nearby, not the batch here. At least for the time being. Suppose we could also just put one of these here. I'm going to be moving like really slow until I get my upgrades up and running. But anyway, I'll just do all this and we're going to need more power, of course. All right, let's get more smelters as well. Let's 
do all that. Uh, probably should uh, copy and paste this. Oh, come on. Copied and paste. And copy and paste. There we go. So since we're getting lots of iron ore now, we can make sure we can process this quickly. Make sure this is all filled. Oh, need to take everything out of this stuff. Magnetics. There we go. So all of this is working. Uh, now we're gonna need to start automating stuff here. Like a lot more than this. I'm thinking... Well, let's get more uh, production up and running. Get out of the way, please. I'm gonna make more of these things. Just gotta make sure we're always grabbing stuff whenever possible. I probably should put a harvester over by the coal here. I also need more wind turbines. Also gonna need more these. I don't know how fast this dark fog grows. Come to think of it, I don't even know if there were any difficulty settings. So I have no idea if I set it to the hardest difficulty. I tend to do that even if I have like little experience with any of it. Simply because I like doing that. But anyway... There we go. Uh, so we need to start automating this stuff over here. I also need to get more research going. Like, I want storage. But what is this thing? Engine. This is used for... Missiles. Okay, so we're going to be getting this early on. Yeah, this is like combat stuff right here. Uh, but what I want is containers. Oh, I guess I already have those, but so. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and make some of these as well. We're going to need a lot of these. Oh, come on. So what I want is... We're going to be making these conveyor belts over here, and this will be, uh, gears. So we're going to make our stuff like this, and then we're going to store it in this container, like right here. Oh, we are. I guess it would make sense if we power this up as well. Okay, so we're gonna fill this with ingots. Also, gotta remember to continue filling this stuff up. Like, we're not automatically feeding this just yet, so it's really important we keep on top of this. Now, this coal. Let's go in here. Like, we'll fill this up later. Oh. There. And then the ingots go in here, and it automatically produces these conveyor 
belt things. Now all that's left to do is continue basically scrubbing this. In fact, actually, hang on. Uh, how do I remove this again? Delete. Oh, it's X. Okay, we'll do it like this. And then we're going to put containers for each of these. I'm gonna space this out. Oh, we're also gonna need more splitters. So let's go ahead and make these. Just gonna put one here, one here. Uh, Then we are gonna let's put the sorters over here. Like so. Oh, did I forget one? No, I didn't. It's just really slow because I don't have the construction bots. We're gonna get some more through upgrades. Now I'm definitely going to need more conveyor belts, so I'm just going to wait a little bit longer before I start doing that. But I do have to start researching other stuff. And it looks like... Yeah. The rest of the technologies requires the blue science. So I'm going to start getting other stuff. We're going to need this. Start getting my upgrades just so we can do stuff better. I'm just going to be walking back and forth here, but get some more power in the meantime. Oh, I guess the magnets, all of the magnets go here. That way we can get our electromagnetic coils. Okay, definitely going to need more of these things. Most definitely need more uh, iron ingots. Okay, now that we got that, just gonna go ahead and get more power going. Come on. Like these construction bots are so slow. What else can we upgrade? A construction bots requires blue science. Auto reconstruction. Oh, that's like if uh, our buildings get destroyed, it automatically rebuilds them. And then this looks like they're blueprints. Uh, we'll get that later. This, um, we don't have that yet. The construction. Okay, so let's just get whatever we can at this point in time. How about... How about that? I don't think we need blueprints yet, so never never mind. Let's just focus on getting blue science up and running. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just make sure all of these are getting filled up. Magnets go in here and... Oh, come on. Okay, so nothing is clogged here. 
Okay, so let's get our science up and running at this point. You know, I suppose we can also get our stuff uh, over here going. Just gonna have to wait for this. Kind of weird that this is the first thing I'm gonna be fully automating, but whatever. So what I want here is really just two of these. Dark Fog Swarm is launching an assault. Probably should turn on tutorials, right? Because I have no idea how to stop this. Uh-oh. How do I attack? Probably should check our key bindings. There's like... Gotta be an attack button somewhere here, right? Collect, jump, take off, fly up. Three bindings for that. Uh, confirm the bill. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, I have no idea how to attack. Okay, I'm just gonna left click on them. Let's see if that works once they get here. How about that? Anyway, let me just uh, do this first. Oh, pff. need more of these. Okay, so I want one glass and one stone. And I also need containers, please. Warning. A dark fog planetary base has launched an attack. Icarus is equipped with laser weapon launch, which can automatically strike enemies within its range. Oh, Fast it's automatic. Power generation means a faster rate of fire. Fill the chamber with fuels. Get ready to engage. Ah. So I don't even have to do anything. I just need to get close to them and that's it. Do they drop resources? You drop logs. Why logs? Uh, whatever. Let's just finish doing this. I do need to automate the splitters, though. Or, not the splitters. Like, what are you called? Sorters. Oh, shit. You're all the way over there. So, obviously, it's not beneficial for me to... Patrol the entire thing because I am busy doing other things and I am slow as hell. Pew pew pew. It's like you drop logs or something. Laser weapon module consumes Mecha's core energy for charging. More advanced fuel can increase the fuel chamber's power and the rate of fire of laser weapon module. All right. So I'm just gonna keep the tutorial open for the time being. Like I know how to build like everything except for whatever the combat stuff was introduced. Just sort this out. Uh you put this here. Copper here, copper here. Gonna need more chips here. Okay, I was working on the science here. Like I need to put it somewhere. Where the hell do I put it? All right, let's just put it here for now. Matrix lab, a facility to produce matrices. It can also be used to research technologies that are unlocked with matrices. Matrices are the source codes to maintain the center brain simulation of a home. You can upload as many matrices to the center brain to run its simulation and unlock more technologies in the real world. 
Okay, enough of this. I know how the Matrix lab works. Come on. I just need containers. So we'll just have this temporary thing. Or before I do that, let's put in, if I remember correctly, it's the chips and the uh, magnetic coils. We'll put that in there. And then I want one splitter or one sorter for each of these items. That way it doesn't get clogged up. And then you're going to produce these things. And I just realized I actually need one of these just feeding into each other. That way we have one, one producing the blue science, the other one actually using it. And there we go. Now we have blue science. Uh, let's start... Or, you know what? I need upgrades. Do upgrades. Uh, unlocks mecha energy shield. Base radius. Yeah, that can be useful. Give me an additional construction drone. Like, I'm gonna get that, like, immediately. Oh, wait. I'm actually damaging the trees. Just by walking around them. Okay, let's not get distracted by that. So, now that I have that up and running, what I need to do is set up, like, a more... Much more automated, like... Setup here. Especially for the iron... But what I want is a bigger iron ore node. It looks like that would be it over there. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to go too far away. Okay, so let's just make sure we have enough of these power generation things. Oh, what the hell? Fuck me. Didn't mean to do that. Hey, let's get used to making doing these hotkeys again. 